Hi everybody and welcome to Wendy's Creative Corner. Today's video is a little different than any other that I've um, done before. I have been inspired by so many of you that do these progress um, videos uh, for the beginnings of your scrapbook pages so I thought I would try a process video. So having said that, I am just going to show you the supplies that I've pulled to create this layout. Um, my inspiration is from this picture that I took of my niece who lives out of town but um, I had her overnight before she headed to my brother's house. Um, so this is the main focal point of the whole entire layout. So having said that, the papers that I pulled for this layout, um, they're actually from the same collection and for those beginner scrapbookers um, that aren't sure what pattern papers to match, um, it's easiest just to purchase a collection um, because generally speaking most of the pattern papers go hand in hand. So this one in particular is from Kaiser Craft and it's the uh, Chanteuse collection and I believe it's uh, an older collection but having said that it's still quite nice. As you can see um, in the photo she is wearing a bright pink um, sweatshirt and uh, there's a brown blanket here and she's got a little bit of a um, a leopard print scarf again picking up the browns and the couch that you know she's sitting on in my house is brown and the wall is chocolate brown so again I thought this was the perfect collection for that so these are the pattern papers that I chose I'll just go through them very quickly and I haven't decided which patterns that I'm going to be using at all um, but I will be sticking with the collection so you'll see in the final video um, which ones I chose. So some really, really pretty colors. So those are the pattern papers. Um, now for the base of the layout, I'm not sure if I'm going to use a pattern paper yet or a cardstock, but I have selected uh, three different colors of cardstock in the um, the brown, the pink, and the green, and these are all from Stamping Up. So as you can see, I've pulled a lot of the colors from this collection um, into the cardstock. Um, now, as far as embellishments go, um, I've selected a few Mr. Hueys. Again, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use, but the first one here is the Estate Green. The next one I pulled is Dark Calico. And then the last one I picked is the Calico White. So I will be using one of them, I'm just not sure which one yet. Um, now I did pull quite a number of trims. Again, not sure which ones I'm going to be using again, but I'll just show you the trims that I've selected. I, I think I'm gonna stick pretty much with a tone on tone color, meaning um, sticking with the same color of pink hues. So I've picked these. And then I also picked this really, whoops, pretty trim here. I haven't used it yet, so I'm really, hmm, undecided. And then I also picked this one, which I just got in the mail, um, and this is from um, an Etsy shop, from Lizzie Jose. And then I also pulled um, some flat back pearls and some other, uh, trims to go along with that. And then uh, the next thing I selected uh, for the layout is some flowers. Again, sticking with the pink hues. Not sure which ones I'm going to be using, but I received these from uh, Sherry Scrap and Wrappin' in a rack. Thank you, Sherry. I pulled some, these are either I Am Roses or Wild Orchid Crafts. The pinks. These are from Cat Scrappiness. These are some felt flowers. And then I also pulled um, some of these small little pink ones. And these are from uh, the Dollar Bin at Michael's. 
And then I also pulled this really pretty uh, Prima. <clears throat> and then I've got some white uh, leaves that I bought from um, Michael's as well in their wedding section. So those are the flowers that I've pulled um, for the layout. Now as far as embellishment goes, um, I'll show you what I've selected. Again, I'm not sure what I'm going to use or not use, but uh, the first thing I picked up or selected is this really nice um, dress form. I also pulled from Lost and Found the labels. And then these chipboard pieces by um, Laundry Line. And then I found a little tag. I think that goes with the same collection. And then I have this film strip by Tim Holtz. And then I have some pearls and some bling in pink. And then I received these in a rack from um, Kara here on YouTube and they're little cameos and I've showed these in a video already so I may use, she's got a couple pink tones in white, I may use some of those. And then this is from Buttons and Badges. I picked this pretty butterfly. And then I also have from Webster Pages these cameos um, in resin pieces. So really not sure. And then today I picked up at Michael's and I saw these on somebody's um, haul video and I'm not really sure whose. But I picked up these really cute um, banner flags um, from Michael's again in their wedding section and they're in the pink tone so I picked those up and then the last thing that I have is um, a couple sentiment stamps and I'm again not sure which ones I'm going to use but the first one that I picked up is um, or may use is from Pure Innocence and it's the Cutitude um, it's got some really cute sayings. You've got a cute attitude, don't mess with the princess, hey sassy pants, sugar spice and everything nice. So I got that one. And then the other one I picked up to maybe use is from Allie Edwards. And this one is her Simply You sentiment. And again, it's got some really nice scenes. You make me smile. You're simply the best. You make my world that much brighter. Thank you. And then to go along with that, I picked out an MFT die. Um, it's their ticket tab that I may use for the sentiment. So let me just back my camera up here because I have got a desk load full. So as you can see here, this is what I've selected. It looks like a mess right now, um, but I will once I've completed the layout, I will come back and show you the finished um, layout having used uh, some of the supplies that I've showed you here today. So thank you very much for stopping by and until the next time, we'll see you later. Bye now.